Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, the age-old question, do I get a light racket or do I get a heavy racket? I always want a light racket, but is it good for me? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get started, I want to let you guys know if you want to support my black coffee habit, uh, join the network called Buy Me a Coffee. So if you want to keep me awake and keep me running these, running my mouth with these videos, um, you can help me out by, by doing so at Buy Me a Coffee backslash tennis spin. Link is below. All right, on to the video. So my man emailed me named Dennis, I think it's beer or Bure. Um, he's taking lessons. I'm guessing he's a beginner. He started taking lessons a couple months ago to play tennis with his wife and son uh, and has been borrowing their rackets. So the wife and son use 100 square inch rackets. He didn't say what it was. Uh, about nine and a half ounces and he loves them the kid loves them the wife loves them that light so nine and a half ounces but he's not quite sure if it's good for him uh, he is six foot three 240 pounds um, I so he's he's not sure if those are right for him but he loves the way it feels. Um, his son is 6'2", 180 pounds. And he's also using a 9.5 ounce racket at age 14. Uh, the wife is 5'10", uh, rated a 3'5", uh, known as a heavy hitter. So, man, we growing them tall out there, Dennis. Um, and you're using, like, little twigs. Uh, but... I get this question all the time. Uh, people are always walking in here saying, oh, what's the lightest racket you got? Well, I, I size you up, right? If you're of the age that you should be using a game improvement racket, like a head instinct power or an extreme power, then I'll sell you one of those because that sucker is about 8.8 .8 ounces before strings. But that's also got a 115 square inch head. But, you know, I guess if you're playing for fun and, or you're playing a lot of doubles, that may suit you. But for my man Dennis and his family here, if he's using a 9.5 ounce racket before strings, we're probably looking at a pure drive light here. So that's about a nine and a half ounce racket. So maybe it's a little more. The arrow might be in range, um, but, but I, I don't, I mean, if you really want to, I sell, I sell mostly this weight to like that 12 year old, that 13 year old that uses, you know, that needs a light racket for their first adult racket. But that doesn't mean you guys can't use it. Um, I remember back when I was getting back into tennis after, you know, a long haul of not playing. I mean, the only thing I had lying around was a Wilson TI, the titanium 4.4 in a 9.5 ounce um, frame, 9.9 .9 ounce frame, excuse me. Um, and so I played with it because it was so head heavy. I liked it, but as I started in more and more, I added more and more lead. So I kind of had got lead addicted. So I eventually converted that super light racket to like heavier than a fed racket. So it came out to about 13 ounces, maybe a little more with the strings. Um, so you can actually do that too, um, Dennis and family. Take your light rackets and play around with the lead. Um, you know, first start off at three and nine, maybe counterbalance it on the bottom on underneath the grip, like how I customize mine and see how you like it there and then keep adding it as you need it. So you can convert 
your light racket into a heavy racket, especially if you like the feel of that racket. Now, it so basically what I did to my 4.495 was I took a super light racket like this and because I like the stiffness of it and the balance of it and the head heaviness of it, I pretty much just kept the balance the way it was by adding lead in pretty much the whole frame, in the handle, in the throat, in the three and nine area, and at 12 o'clock. So I basically kept the balance, but just added a lot more weight. I mean, as I told you in the past, as I told you guys in the past, as the rackets get lighter, they get head heavier. So it makes it easier for you to swing through. The head will carry through the ball easier, even though it's lighter. So, I mean, just as, a, as an example, that big Bubba by Gamma, that's 137 square inches. That sucker's under 10 ounces unstrung, right? If you guys have ever lifted that sucker up, all the weight's out here. It's in the head, right? And you, would, you wouldn't think that it's under 10 ounces, but all the weight is in the head and helps for that plow through. So you won't get tennis elbow. So what I would suggest is if you like the feel of those 9.9 .9 ounce, 9.5 ounce rackets, just buy those and add lead to them. Um, or since you haven't bought your own racket yet, um, buy like a standard pure drive. That's 10.6 ounces. Uh, cause it's only really, well, it's really an ounce, um, heavier, but you're a big boy. I don't think, uh, It'll hurt you at all. It'll probably help you in the long run, okay? And maybe your family will start getting, you know, big uh, big and heavy rackets just like you guys, too. All right, so want to thank Dennis for sending in the question. Um, hopefully, I help shed some light on what you guys should do uh, with your future rackets, okay? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.